Alright, we've got this steel FS9, uh, FS130 uh, whip sucker. When you go to pull it, the shaft wants to spin. Now, that's not normal. Let's fix it. And the clutch is right away in the um, things on it. So let's take the cover off it. You'll need a T27. Three screws in that. Screw at the back here. You take it. All right. Top should just pull off. We need to undo the throttle cable. Pull that in. Disconnect the coil. And also, just take the throttle cable off the carby. Right. Get the other way. Let me get under the shaft. Which is a T27 too. Should be able to pull in. Oh. Rag, the wood on the motor. Turn it up. Take this bolt in. Undo the clutch. Alright, just use your tool to undo it on both sides. Lift the clutch off. I'm set the clutch down. Alright, once you get your clutch off, you want to keep this all in order too. Lay that over. Take our back and blow it off. Oh, that be broken.
have a look what we've got in the bag here. This is the part number for it. For the new puck. and then washers come off the bottom of it so which way is it the right on that clutch so this is the top that's the top of the clutch and this other stuff is on the bottom with them washers so you got that the washers the clutch and we've got the top cover right so we have got to put these bushings in these bushings they go straight down. So it's very important we put all this stuff back exactly how we found it. Now these bushings are going to be a bit tricky because these other ones, I had to heat them right up with a blowtorch. Oh look at that, look at these bloody bushings here, loose they are. Right now, they just sit in there. Now, I want to, just, I want to tell you a little story story time so we've got two of these bushings here just sit that one in there now i um i heated i went to get this bushing out of the clutch and i put this in bench vice this other clutch shoe and i went to get that bushing out and that bushing broke off the tip of it and then i broke the bloody clutch all right so the the, the solution is if you these are frozen. These are supposed to be just flopping around in there. As you can see with this new clutch. As you can see here. See that bushing. See how it just falls through it. That's why the clutch was sticking. Right. So that's the bushing for it. Now the trick is. If you're, if you're going to stuff around with this steel FS130R. Or FS110 or FS90. With these sleeves in here. The trick is. Is to get a blowtorch. And heat this clutch shoe up on both sides so it's cherry red heat it right up as, as hot as possible and then get a socket that fits over here to tap it through or something that you can get on the back of it something you can get on the back that's the right size like that it's just enough over it so you can give it a good smack like a 10 mil deep impact socket Something like that. And, um, yeah. And that's how you remove them bushings when the clutch is frozen. Like, I cleaned this up. I was going to put this clutch back in. I went to get these out and I was just going to buy these. And, um, these were, uh, $4.50 each. One of these. I was just going to buy this because the top was broken off it. And I already heated it up and got one out and I was going to ream that out and put it in two new bushings in there and reuse this, these clutch shoes but that wasn't the case they um i broke it trying to get it out because it's that rusted in here they're supposed to fall out not like sitting like that so that's the trick heat it up with a blowtorch put it in a clamp it in the vice and make sure you whatever you do protect this this part here because this is the weakest part in the clutch through here Come on, let me show you. That's the weakest part of the clutch through there, and that's where it will bloody break. So when you put it in the force, clamp it into here, into this piece here. Don't use this. Clamp it into here solid. Heat it up, cherry red, as much as you possibly can do it. Even do multiple heats off, and then hit it out, and um, you should have success getting them out. If you don't, you'll end up breaking it. You'll have to buy a new clutch like I did, and um, yeah. That's the story there. So we've got these washers. So what we want to do is, is we've got the new clutch. We want to put the bushings in. Like this.
And then we've got the cover that you put on. Push and throw it. Now, that's how the clutch goes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some grease. I'm going to put a bit of grease in these bushes because I can see this thing's going to dry out again like this and it's going to, you know, get stuck and the clutch is going to go to shit and it's not going to work properly. So, we'll get some grease and we'll put it in there and we'll put it back together. So, alright, I've got some wheelbarrow grease here. So, what we'll do is, is we won't have to take them all out, just take it out with your hand. Sit that on there. Just get a tiny little bit and just smooth it around. I'm careful we're going to slide it back in. Do the same on the other side. Tiny little bit of wool bearing grease. Make sure them washers are in there properly. Yeah, they're supposed to go. Right. What I might do too is that we've got our top plate here. Well, I was thinking because we've got that top plate. I mean the top plate's pretty good, it has already got some lube on it when I was already stuffing around before to try and get the clutch to behave itself so we won't have to worry about that we won't go put this grease absolutely bloody everywhere that looks good put it straight on your flywheel just like that Before we do it up, just um, I want to bloody check this just to make sure it's really is sitting flush on here. Yep, looks good. Right now, so we can see it's sitting there good all even doesn't look like nothing's out of whack just want to make sure right now get a T27 because you want to tighten this down you don't want to just bloody leave it. Just tighten them both even. Right. And I'll just double check it. We'll just turn it on hand. That washer's not right in there, if you can see that. I'll just undo it. That washer's not right. And that clutch, I'm not happy with that. It's coming off. I think it was centre. It is now. Yep, 
Yeah, that one's in there a little bit. So what we'll do is, yep, that's it. Poke it in there with a, a tool. Now, before I go tighten it up, just make sure that washer is even and it's not bloody hanging out because hanging out is no good to me. Right, it looks like it's in there properly. So that's what I mean. If you don't have it up sitting up right, that bloody washer can come out and you um, won't be right. So tighten it down. I'll just tighten it down that once. And I'll just spin it round and we'll just make sure that washer is in there properly. Yep, it is now. Yep. Right, I'm happy with that. I think it's right. Oh. Oh. Rightio. Now. Next step is, clutch is done. Get our cover. cover just falls on there because it's not grabbing on that clutch no more. Alright, put it in one bolting. Or screw. One torque screw. T27. Alright. Now, we need to grab our shaft. We've already got a little bit of grease on there from when we already greased it, but We'll put a little bit more on here. And this is wheel bearing grease too. High temperature. So um, that will um, stop it from getting flung around. I'd, so what we do is just put it in here. Put your shaft in. And you can grab the back of your motor with your hand. Lift up the motor. Go to turn the engine. Just turn the shaft, just spin a little bit, just to try and get it to slip in here. That's it. Took a bit. <laughs> As, as you can expect. Right, right. Now make sure the whip snip is level off the shaft of it. And just tighten it all that for the minute. Now, we've got to hook all our stuff up. So, first of all, we've got our throttle cable. If you're really careful and you've got a very small tool, might be able to pop that frontal cable back in without taking that cover off. Just pull that cable back. Got the frontal cable in there without taking the cover off. Right, right, just clip that back in here. With our wires. Black wire goes on the front and then the blue wire on here. Now don't forget this important part here. Make sure you tuck the wires back into this groove like that, all the wires are on, throttle cable works, make sure we take any of that slack out of the cable, yep that's good, put our spark plug boot back on, Put our top cover back on. You don't have to um, take anything else off or do anything. The cover will just clip on. When you've taken it off, like I have, stuffing around with this, you um, you get pretty good at it. Taking it on and off. Same as clutch, I've had the clutch off mold all the time too. So if you think, oh geez, that bloke's bloody um 
good at taking her apart. That's nah, just because I've had it off a few times. Once you um, pull something apart, you know, and you're trying to work out the problem, what's going on with it, you get used to it and you um, get good at it. It's like anything you do in life. If you do it enough times and you keep on doing it over and over and over, you're going to get good at it eventually. We just use this torque bit, hand one to tighten it up. Don't go overdoing them though, because you end up stripping them. Alright, we've got one more to do here. Torx bit. Right. Let's prime it. Put it on start. That's stop. Put it back on backwards and start. We've already got it on choke. Choked up runs when it's sideways that's run that way this is choke Be able to just spin it like this and should be able to do full revolutions to, to know if the clutch is sticking or not because what i want to do when the clutch is locked on i want to turn the motor when you try and turn it won't spin like this so um yeah that's the clutch of the um whips have done and these um bushings geez they're problematic so yeah all right Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, share, comment and have a great day.